Hey everybody, Brian here from Shooting Spaces. We want to thank you for purchasing the 4x6 postcard template. If you have already purchased the 8.5x11 flyer postcard and watched the video, this is very similar, but in case you have not purchased that, I'm going to make this quick video tutorial just to show you how to update and adjust the different layers in this Photoshop template. First thing I want to show you though is included in your purchase is a little text document that has links to all the fonts necessary for this um, Photoshop file. So if you do not have some of the fonts and if you don't a warning will pop up when you open the Photoshop file just go to these links download all the fonts and you can install them into your operating system obviously refer to your own operating system for the best way to do that which is probably a simple Google search but um, download all the files, um, restart Photoshop if you need to, and open this up and you should be all set. First thing we're going to do is open up. We have uh, four different layers that you want to touch. This background layer underneath, um, you're not going to touch that. That's all the design elements. But each of the red, orange, green, and blue layers are where you're going to adjust. And each one is for different parts of this postcard. So the first one is the logo. If we open up that folder, you see we have the logo layer there. Now all the images in this postcard template are smart objects, which means that all you have to do is literally double click the thumbnail and the layers. It'll open up in a new tab and all you have to do is update that, save it, and it'll update on the template automatically. So I'll show you how we do that. If I double click this, it's going to open up in a new tab. And here's your logo. Now I'm going to put in, I'm going to place, and I have a keyboard shortcut for place, so it's going to take me a little bit quicker, um, a Shooting Spaces logo, which I prepared beforehand. I'm going to pop that in, bring it up a little bit and hit it in there. Now I'm going to, just for organizational purposes, I'm going to delete the original layer that was in there. And then all you have to do is save it, which is Apple S on a Mac. Um, I'm guessing Control S on a PC. Save it and close that window and you see it's updated. Now I enlarged it and I made it too big. So I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to bring it down a little bit and just bring it up a little bit. I can probably just bring it up a little bit and save it and there we go looks much better um, still not centered but it looks better that should be good okay looks great logo is done um, I usually suggest putting in the agent or the realtors logo in there um, for their own branding Next is the text layers. This is going to be to adjust all the text on this template. First one is the address, pretty straightforward. Um, just to see how this works, you can just do one, two, three, Main Street in Boston um, or wherever your property is and go from there. Um, next folder down is the price. And we broke down all the text into, the, into different folders to make it easier. So price starts from um, that you can just to whatever you want. Let's say we want to write in there asking. I'm going to make it all caps. Asking 1.5 million. Let's say we're not asking that much. We're only asking 500,000. Pretty straightforward. You can adjust the different layers that way. Under that, in, in that folder, there's a background don't touch folder. That's the background for the pricing. So um, if there's any folders that say don't touch leave those be because they're not going to update anything the next thing we're going to look at is features so this is the title if you don't want to call it features if you want to call it something else you know includes or whatever you come up with um, you can do it there and then each one of these folders one through six adjusts a different feature now in each folder you have the check mark if you don't like the check mark you can remove it and then you have the actual feature so let's say we want to say cabana um, don't mind the caps and they'll take off the check good to go then move down to folder two um, and so on and so forth so pretty straightforward pretty simple over there next folder down is the little description we got over there the perfect home to start a family which is your headline and then a little paragraph description let's say you don't like the you know your new home to start a family and you can just write something like now, because of these two different colors, I'm going to adjust them each differently. You can write new to the market and then something over here. I'll be like just listed something like that. Obviously, that's kind of um, 
saying the same thing, but you can obviously just adjust to according to what you want to put in there. And then the description is a little paragraph you want to put in with a description of or features of the property. And then this little bar is that um, design element in there. If you don't like that, you can adjust that. Um, and then the last thing is call for an appointment underneath. So, and everything is on its own layer. If you don't like that calendar icon, you can pull it off. Um, if you want to say text for an appointment, you can just change that there to text. Um, and then obviously adjust your phone number accordingly. Pretty simple. Now the last, or not the last, but the next thing we're going to look at is photos. So just like logo earlier, um, all the photos are on smart objects. So the largest photo is in a folder here. I double click it and I'm going to place this image, the main image here that we used prior. I'm going to scale that up a little bit. I'm going to delete the old one and I'm going to save it. There you go. And obviously I go back in and adjust it accordingly. Um, smaller images with photo left, middle, photo right. So I'm going to open photo left. I'm going to put in master bedroom, let's say. And if this was for a client, I'd spend a little more time just seeing what images work better in each place. But I'm just going to do it for time sake now a little quicker. Um, living room. Just gonna scale that up and move that over a little. And then lastly, photo right. And I think the last one we didn't do is the kitchen. Bring that up a little bit. Perfect. Okay, images are all updated. And last but not least, and I'll move this in a little closer so you can see it is the contact footer. This is pretty straightforward. You have an icon for each. If you don't like the icons, you can go in there and remove each specific icon. But here you can just literally go in and adjust each text for the address. For, this is typically the agent's information is the address, um, phone number, email, or website. Um, so pretty straightforward. Should take you um, five minutes or so to update everything as long as you have all the images and copy ready and prepared. Um, but a great design, pretty straightforward and pretty easy to update. And again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us or reach out to us and we can do our best to help you through these Photoshop templates. Thanks again.